Hello friends, myself Professor Prashant Mahajan working as an assistant professor at AISSMS Institute of Information Technology. Today we are going to see the topic ill effects of hard water on boiler metal. In that we are going to uh, discuss scales and sludge formation and caustic embrittlement. So what is sludge and what is scale? So you can see the diagram and you can distinguish between scale and sludge. So what is sludge? Sludge is the loose and slimy precipitate which is present in the water. So sludge it is present in the water which is also called as cooler portion of the boiler. Similarly scale it is the hard adherent coating present on the surface of the boiler metal. So as compared to this inside portion this portion is hotter so this is cooler and this is hotter portion that means sludge is present in the cooler portion of the boiler and scale it is present in the hotter portion of the boiler so what are the causes of scale sorry sludge first salts with greater solubility in hot water than cold water like magnesium carbonate magnesium chloride calcium chloride and magnesium sulfate so scales are formed, sorry, sludges are formed due to salts like magnesium carbonate, magnesium chloride, calcium chloride and magnesium sulfate. So what are the disadvantages? First disadvantage, due to presence of sludge, we have to heat water more to generate required steam. That means there will be waste of some portion of heat due to sludge. Second, excessive sludge formation disturb working of the boiler and sometimes it may choke up the pipe. So that is the second problem that can choke up the pipe. And third, sludge reduces flow rate of water in the boiler. So that are the three disadvantages of sludge formation. How can we overcome it? So first by using soft water. So we have to use soft water. That means we have to treat the boiler with water outside the boiler. That is by external treatment. And second by frequent blowdown operation followed by makeup of water. So what is blowdown operation? We have to just replace that residue water which is containing large amount of sludge by fresh water that is called as blow down operation next is scale so scale the definition is hard adherent precipitate salt responsible for scale formation is calcium carbonate magnesium hydroxide calcium sulfate calcium silicate magnesium silicate so you can see the causes first cause is the composition of bicarbonate so if temporary hardness like calcium bicarbonate and magnesium bicarbonate is present that on heating produces precipitate of calcium carbonate and magnesium hydroxide so that will stick to the boiler metal second decreases in the solubility of salt like calcium sulfate so you can see at 15 degrees celsius Calcium sulfate has solubility 3 to 0, 0 ppm. Then at 230 degrees Celsius, it is going to reduce to 55 ppm, and at 20 degrees Celsius, it is 27 ppm. Almost insoluble in superheated water in high pressure boiler. So as temperature increases, solubility of calcium sulfate decreases. The third cause is hydrolysis of magnesium salt. So you can see if magnesium salt is present in the water that will react with the water at higher temperature and that will produce magnesium hydroxide. Next is presence of silica. So calcium and magnesium salts present in the water will react with the silica and it will form calcium silicate and magnesium silicate. So the salts present like calcium carbonate, magnesium hydroxide, calcium sulfate, then again magnesium hydroxide, calcium silicate and magnesium silicate. 
that are insoluble in water and that will attach or adhere to the boiler matter so that is creating problems so next is disadvantages of scale formation so first disadvantage is wastage of fuel second is overheating of boiler third is lowering of safety and third is danger of explosion so first is wastage of fuel so as there is a formation of scale on the boiler metal that will increase the thickness of boiler metal so we have to heat that boiler metal and that will require more fuel for generation of required steam if we heat that boiler metal that is called as overheating of boiler metal so if we overheat the boiler metal that will lower the boiler metal safety and again last one if that scale present of the boiler metal get cracked then that overheated metal comes in contact with the cooled water that means the boiler metal is overheated and if that scale get cracked that will do explosion of the boiler metal so you can see directly so this is a scale form for generation of required steam you have to heat that boiler metal and that will cause wastage of fuel and second that will be the overheating of boiler third that will reduce the safety of boiler metal and fourth if some crack will be there then that water comes in the overheated boiler metal there is a creation of pressure and that will be the explosion of the boiler metal so that is that are the disadvantages of scale formation next removal of scale was by brittle scale can be removed by scraper or piece of wood or wire brush so that can be removed second it can be removed by treatment with edta that means edta dissolved calcium and magnesium salts present in the scale then thick scale can be removed by hammer and chisel fourth hard scale can be removed by giving thermal shocks so that are the removal method and preventions are given first soft water can be used in addition of sodium phosphate to the water then frequent blow down operation to remove sludge and precipitate rich water then addition of sodium aluminate which trap scale forming particles then addition of tannin and lignin which forms coating on the scale forming impurities so that means this is creating problem if this is stick to the boiler or adhere to the boiler if it is present in the water in the form of sludge this is creating more problem as compared to this because this can be removed by blow down operation but that cannot be removed easily so by adding sodium phosphate or sodium aluminate or tannin and lignin that will coat on the scale forming impurities and that will remain in the water so that can be removed by blow down operation so that is the prevention of scales the next is caustic embrittlement so what is caustic embrittlement you can see the definition fast corrosion of boiler metal caused by highly alkaline condition during steam generation so causes you can see first we are using lime soda for the softening of the boiler so the unreacted lime soda due due to evaporation of water in boiler concentration of sodium carbonate increases and it undergoes hydrolysis to form sodium hydroxide in the water at high temperature so in high pressure boiler we are using soda lime or lime soda 
that is called as sodium carbonate for softening of water at high pressure and high temperature it undergoes hydrolysis and that will form caustic soda which is also called as sodium hydroxide so lime soda on hydrolysis at high pressure and high temperature undergoes hydrolysis and forms caustic soda so as temperature increases evaporation of water takes place that means concentration of NaOH is going to increase which reacts with boiler metal and it forms sodium ferrite so you can see here that sodium hydroxide will react with the boiler metal and it will form sodium ferrite so NaOH penetrates in the intergranular spaces by capillary action boiler metal becomes weak and brittle due to caustic alkali water evaporates and concentration of NaOH increases and it attacks boiler metal and forms sodium ferroid so this is one reaction and this is the second one so there is a formation of two cells so first cell is galvanic cell that is if the boiler metal is bent then there is a formation of galvanic cell that is stress part and unstress part so stress part will act as anode so this is stressed and this is unstressed so straight part will act as anode and stress part will act as cathode and there is a sodium hydroxide inside present that will act as an electrolyte so anode get corroded and cathode get protected so this is one cell galvanic cell second cell is there that is concentration cell so concentration cell as i said there is a NaOH present in the water as uh, in and if there are cracks that NaOH penetrates through that cracks by capillary action so there is a two types of NaOH one is here there is a concentration of NaOH is higher and second the NaOH which is present at the bottom so there are two types of NaOH one is at the top which is coming by capillary action here and other which is present at the bottom so there is a formation of concentration cell so here is higher concentration and here is lower concentration so higher concentration will act as cathode lower concentration will act as anode and there is a corrosion so this is corrosion due to highly caustic condition that's why it is called as caustic embrittlement and last prevention of the caustic embrittlement so what is the causes if you know the causes you can prevent the caustic embrittlement so first the cause is due to presence of sodium carbonate second that is due to presence of NaOH third that is due to presence of cracks so first sodium carbonate can be replaced by sodium phosphate so you can write using sodium phosphate instead of sodium carbonate so that is one prevention method second this is NaOH which is alkaline so what can we do adjusting pH of the water to 8 to 9 so that means NaOH can be neutralized or we can make the pH up to 8 to 9 and last due to this presence of crap so you can use by test treating boiler walls with tannin and lignin that will block the cracks present okay so you can use sodium phosphate you can add this pH of the water to 8 to 9 and you can use tannin and lignin to fill the cracks present on the boiler metal so that's it about caustic embrittlement its causes disadvantages and prevention and scale and sludge its causes disadvantages and prevention so thank you